Very good. So you see, you have actually interacted uh, quite intensely with uh, Indian students who went <coughs> to uh, Finland last year uh, as a part of the uh, summer internship program, and now they are working for the PDP, where you are, they are working with uh, Willem and with you in the design factory environment. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about uh, what uh, the design factory is now planning and how we can collaborate with the design factory more for uh, our VLM program for product design activities here at IIT Kanpur and what more can we do? What are your vision as a manager of the design factory? Okay, Design Factory has been <coughs> operating since last September, so it's <coughs> a few months old. And we are, in basic, we are like a operating platform for different kind of actions, courses, research projects, and uh, companies also. <coughs> so I think uh, like our input or our goal for future is to like uh, build some kind of cooperation network, of course, which can also provide huge possibilities for India. We really would appreciate like big country like India to be partner of Design Factory also to do cooperation for example exchange students, exchange professors, do cooperating courses or stuff like that so I think like some kind of worldwide cooperation would easily benefit all parties. So as a, our future basically brings us, well we are starting just a new university even though we are saying that we are the first building of Alta University already so we don't know about our official situation or like location in, inside the university so that's like a, our biggest goal in the future maybe next two or three months funding stuff like that but the basic operations is running well and we are having lots of good experiences on the courses and so on so any kind of cooperation would be appreciated very very well and like a, we already had what intensive and good cooperation with IIT Kanpur with you and the students working with us during the renovation phase and now with the courses so any kind of like further development of those contacts would be very beneficial hopefully for you but for absolutely for us and what i would like to add is that the, the institutes or programs they don't cooperate it's just the human beings and we have uh, found our friends from here, IIT Kanpur, the students who were brave enough to come to Finland for, for the summer traineeship and to participate our courses. Uh, and uh, we ourselves, who are crazy enough to come here, over here, and, and participate the VLM program and, and uh, the designing of the design village. And uh, I must say that uh, uh, of course, there are big differences in, in uh, cultural sense between the countries, the population and climate and uh, history and anything. But it's surprisingly how much uh, similarities we can also find among these two uh, universities or institutes. And uh, for instance, today what I was talking, uh, uh, thinking uh, when talking to, to the uh, students at the class, uh, was that uh, how easy it is to have a good contact and interaction between the Indian students and, and uh, with myself. It's, sometimes I have a feeling that it's much better than with the Finnish students. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. But uh, I would like to uh, have, uh, uh, qu have a question for both Professor Salimaki and for you, is that what few, few tips, few directions that you can suggest that how we can make our Indian designers, our students, uh, as future designers of Indian products, world beaters. How do we make them world's best designers? Yeah, before answering that, I would like to support this uh, Kalevi Ekman's uh, uh, opinion that how, unlike, it, it's really easy to transfer these practices over the cultural borders. I have been well, discussing and teaching and running this kind of course courses and workshop in, workshops in Japan, in Korea, in India, in the States. And no problem at all. So my advice is that just do it. Mm -hmm. Like put your designers work together with other professionals. Give them real life tasks and challenges. 
put them into industrial like management contexts and see what they learn and support their learning. That's my simple advice. My advice is that uh, the more interaction, the better. And uh, the quantity of uh, interconnection between different disciplines, uh, that is less important. But then uh, the, the chance uh, for the students at IIT from engineering, design, uh, just to learn uh, each other, uh, their skills and uh, dreams, uh, the possibilities for future cooperation. And uh, 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 so what other advice? Uh, well, perhaps I could just share my my vision about the priorities and and uh, uh, values that mm -hmm. uh, we try to teach to our <coughs> students is that uh, the first uh, 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 in importance uh, is just to have fun and uh, this term it might be a bit fuzzy to understand but uh, it means something like aus Liebe zur Kunst in German language just uh, to love what you are doing that is always important and uh, uh, that uh, will lead to the second one uh, that you should learn something new every day and then of course the third one work like a crazy but just in this order uh, when you have fun you will learn and uh, you have the motivation for work but for instance if you uh, work too much then it's no good then you then it's no no more fun and you 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 will not learn anything anymore so uh, this uh, Problem-based, project-based learning uh, uh, is very effective, uh, results better learning outcomes, uh, combining theory and practice. That is very important. Uh, the phase where students realize their plans. So, uh, in other words, they do just uh, uh, they just uh, don't do exercises on paper or th theoretically, but. Uh, they also realize uh, and face the mistakes uh, that they have made in their uh, uh, design and, and uh, planning phase. Uh, it's very educational. And uh, also the interaction uh, between the academic world uh, and uh, business sector uh, is very important and beneficial for both sides because uh, the better we understand uh, today's and the future problems and challenges of the companies, the better we can uh, uh, plan for our educational uh, programs, uh, because uh, the professional career of the students, it's more than 40 years after the graduation. Mm -hmm. So it's very uh, difficult to f uh, forecast how the world is uh, after 10 or 20 years or even more. So we have to think about, about uh, those skills that will last forever. What is the fir firm basis for, for all uh, possible futures related to certain discipline? Uh, and then uh, to identify also those uh, parts of technology or, or uh, other subjects that uh, are just uh, uh, short-lasting and, and uh, must be uh, replaced by, by new, new learning. So what we are uh, teaching the students for uh, is a long path and uh, the, the best we can give uh, are good attitudes uh, and, a, and a hunger for learning uh, always more.